Welcome back, folks. It is I, Pyron, here with another of what well, I'm going to call this Pyro's Loot Hall. Basically, this is basically my figure haul of this past week. Of my weekend, I'm just going out, doing errands and whatnot, and then just finding some stuff on the shelves at stores and whatnot. So, going from left and right, we're going to go with these mini figures right here. As you can see, these right here are another of the, uh, you know, those Gashapon fig uh, mystery figures that you can get. This one's right here, one of the Naruto ones that you can see right here. I got myself two of these, and those are the two characters that I ended up getting. I ended up getting uh, Hinata right here. And Orochimaru, which is not bad. I actually do have a couple of these that I got. One of them is Kakashi, another one is Sankara, and another pack that I usually got. But these are mystery packs, basically another gotcha series of mystery packs that you can get. This time, this set right here. You can get either Hinata, Orochimaru, Minato, Shikamaru, Naruto Mizumaki during his stage one during his battle against Pain, and Sasuke, I think, when he was fighting against either Deidara or Itachi. I have no clue. But those are mystery packs, and I got lucky. Now, yeah, depends. I got Hinata on one hand, Orochimaru another. It's not bad. Then, on the next one, I ended up getting a Samus Aran Metroid figure, which is actually pretty nice. I have no clue. Which version this is? I have no clue if this is the version in the game, in the new game. Because it's not her regular color, as you can see right here. This one is in the new color scheme, which I'm assuming is for the new game, which I have yet to play. Ah. Then over here, along when, when I also got, it's an Elvira figure, another one. And I got this one mainly specifically just because A, I'm a fan of hers, and B... This one is basically the Red Fright and Boo, basically the fire, uh, 4th of July version. And it looks pretty nice. I'm actually, I'm actually happy about this. This one right here is probably going to stay in the box. Along with the other one. Because I do have the original. Or at least the other one that I do have. Which I'll show right here. It's on top of over here. I do have the regular version of hers. As well. But this one's old. But this one I bought back. Uh, beginning of the year. But overall pretty nice. These are probably going to stay in the box. Uh, along with that. Uh, on my trip to Hobby Lobby. Dun, 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 dun. Guess who I found? It is the Perfector. <laughs> so. Perfect so. Which is which is pretty nice. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Hobby Lobby was a little bit disappointing this time around. I mean, of the stuff to get, there's still stuff to get, but when I was like going for anime figures, uh not that much. This one right here is on one of the ones at Target. That was a little bit more cheaper because this right here was priced, was 10, was at 6. When I actually went to the counter, as you priced it, at 2 bucks. So clearance sale. So what's it called? If you go to Target and you see these, uh, depending on which of your targets, whatnot, they're, if they're on a clearance sale or whatnot, just know it might be cheaper. So get these because usually these, usually these are at 10 bucks. And I already shown basically four of these. Well, three of these. Target's is going to be number four. And then, so I was at least going to get a model kit of something at Hobby Lobby. So I ended up getting myself this uh, figure. What is this? Entry grade. Really? This is an entry grade? I didn't know that. Oh, I guess we're getting entry grade other brands. Uh, entry grade statue of Vegeta and Super Saiyan Blue. Which, I guess, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Or a I O E uh, Super Saiyan Blue. But overall, not a bad haul. Uh, what's it called? I'm basically happy with this. Uh, you're probably going to see the reviews for these uh, later down the line. Uh, for most of these. Like, maybe I'll do the, uh, reviews of these two because these are usually easy to do. This one probably as well. Like, the figure ones I'll probably be able to do. The model kit one, I'm going to build eventually when I build. The Elvira one is probably the only one I'm probably not gonna do a, a video or not just because I don't want to open her because I don't want to open her up. I want to keep, keep keep her in the box. I mean, I could probably open her up, but that's also ruining the box. And I actually do kind of like how the box looks. The box looks pretty nice. And to rip this box off would be a disaster. But with that out of the way, uh, this is Pyro's Pyro's loot hole. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. This is Pyro Arden signing out, and have a good day, folks.